The Scandinavian Santa actually was written because of my desire to have another Christmas story uh, that I hadn't seen before. But there's a quote, and I can't really remember which author said it, but it, it goes something like, if you're not seeing the story that you want to read, then write it yourself. So I did write it myself. It was a good opportunity for both of us to take the passions that we love and to blend them together and, and work on this. So it was, a, it was a great accomplishment. The message I'm trying to convey with the Scandinavian Santa primarily is that of the importance of generosity. Santa Swanson learns that when he's kind and generous, it echoes back to him. And so that is why he's been given these magical abilities because he's always been very kind and generous to the animals that he cares for. The story is really one of fun and wonder and just entertainment. And the fact that when you're generous, uh, it almost magically comes back to you. But also there's sub-themes in the story that uh, relate to friendship and trust and just a general respect for animals too. A lot of my inspirations I think came from uh, different accoutrements uh, that we had. Uh, for instance, this room uh, became an inspiration uh, for the inside of Santa Swanson's cabin uh, with the hearth and the, the beams, uh, the telescope. Helped, to, helped me to compose uh, a lot of these scenes. Uh, so yeah, there was, there was inspiration like that uh, that, um, that definitely I drew from. I see my stories in a almost cinematic format, character arc, the plot, and all those different things that have to be included in a story. And uh, so when I'm writing, it's almost like uh, transcribing what I'm seeing in my mind uh, to words on a page. My background as a writer is one of uh, being a poet. I enjoy lyrical sentences, I enjoy the rhythm of a sentence, unique words that are included in a story. So for me, that's part of the enjoyment as a writer is to uh, make the sound of a sentence and ultimately the story something that's beautiful in and of itself. The story is set in a in an area that is not specifically one country or another. I did want to include different elements from each of the countries that are in Scandinavia. And I felt that to do this type of story justice, uh, even though it's a children's book and a short story, that I needed to, to have the story accurate in the smallest details. We wanted to uh, stay away from the traditional red and green that's usually associated with Christmas. Uh, books and, and the season and be something a little bit different, a little more earthy, uh, that more resembles Santa Swanson's personality. Predominantly we wanted to have a blue and yellow uh, theme throughout the, the book. Blue and yellow is, is quite Scandinavian. That was part of our homage to that culture uh, to uh, add that into the book. There are a lot of fun-filled scenes in the Scandinavian Santa. I'm pretty sure that children will really enjoy the fact that there are magical flying polar bears in the story, uh, and, and those, those polar bears are quite mischievous. There's also an ice skating party and uh, a holiday feast inside of a barn, so that each turn of the page um, would give the reader something enjoyable to take in. My favorite part of the book is Santa Swanson himself. Uh, he's a very rustic uh, and earthy individual that's uh, very passionate about life and passionate about uh, other beings. And he uh, uh, really enjoys uh, caring for others. And it's uh, the type of book that lends itself well to uh, a family sitting around uh, and enjoying a story to the point that maybe the Scandinavian Santa would be included in their their family traditions at the holiday season. But it's also the type of story that if a parent wanted to put their child to bed during the holiday season and read one page and say we'll read the next page tomorrow because each turn of the page is really a new scene.